this will be a special speed paint with young comments. Oh, and join a different program as you can see. I want to try it out too. On this piece, I got inspired by some spring photos I saw. Sometimes it's hard to convey the feeling you are looking for. That's when I just decide to let my hand flow without worrying about anatomy. That face angle will be hard. People will say I'm doing line art, but it's actually just tracing over the rough sketch. No secrets. There's artists that can do such pretty eyelashes. I want to try it out here. Wait, I want them to be white, so better if I don't feel them on the middle. It took a long time to learn to draw the jawline, and I still feel I have much to learn. Sometimes I draw hands, parts, just to see how it will look like. I don't mind erasing because drawing them at least counts as practice. I always end up editing the job. I wish I just got it right already. Time to draw the body? Nah, let's have fun doing the hair. Break there. It's delicate. And I like braids. Start with simple shapes. And then add details as you go. It doesn't need to be perfect. If it's messy, it's even better. to add thin loose hair all around. I know there will be flowers, so they will be somehow holding her hair. Oh no! Realized she got the big brain head problem. Fixing is complicated, and transform tool on CSP works different than Sai. Or I don't know how to use it. to keep fixing our own mistakes. Go slowly, you can get there. Mouth 
dogs are interesting to draw. In anime, they are such a thin line, but yet can express a lot. On this drawing, I wanted to add these nose line dashes as a style test. It's a cool touch. Flower time! I used photo reference to know how to draw them. Link in the description. I feel that doing these thin lines on CSPs is easier somehow. Maybe that's why many artists that use CSP do such amazing line art. Using a different program to draw is refreshing. I like this feeling of trying something new and learning. myself how are the flowers being held on her hair. Then I decide it's just part of her. She is the spring itself. I never had favorite flowers. Do you have one? I like any that has interesting color and shape. Have you seen very tiny blue ones? They are adorable. feathers on her hair, because a bird gave them to her as a gift. No idea what to do with the body pose. But I do know I want very flowy blouse. This is not as I imagined on my head. Her head is so big. I suffer with that almost every drawing. I took a long time to learn to draw face shape, and I still feel it's not correct sometimes.
sometimes editing small bits of the forehead hair parts already helps a lot. I want it to feel like she has a smooth light hair. Did it work? Shoulder joints are always weird to draw. And there I thought, ha! Why to draw a body if she is the spring itself? She has flowers inside the hair. I am a genius. I'm lazy. But it's okay. I get things done. <laughs> More details on clothes folds can be very fun. I always enjoy it. happy with the face. Why it feels so weird? Hell. Alright, I will go back to the basics so I can make the angle as I planned in the first place. It's not like I enjoy adding more hair strings or anything. Since editing her eyes made the lines too blurry, I decided it would be a good moment to redraw it with better quality. I have seen artists doing pretty hairy eyebrows. Wanted to try it too. Editing the mouth again. I just want it to look decent, okay? I don't know where the hair is going or if there is any wind. <laughs> I zoom out when I need to do longer lines, so I move less my arm. Okay, I guess there is some wind, because flowy hair is cool. moment I realized it's past half the video and I didn't start coloring yet. What can I do if it's fun to draw out that hair? I hope you are enjoying too. to add those shadow lines. 
I don't know how it will look with colors though. But it looks pretty in black and white. I recommend doing it if you are feeling lazy to color. Some artists prefer to not draw those lines on the middle top of the head, which is fine. Keep in mind that the art is yours, and you can do as you wish. I have no idea which brush to use to add colors. <laughs> I struggled a bit to use the bucket too. I also did not know which brushes to use to shape. But I thought. Darker pencil. Does it act as colored pencil? No. It doesn't have a good color blending, so I changed to oil paint brush. When I tried different styles, I like to play with different brushes and test it out. Yay, let's shape the lips and prove myself I can make them look nice. Highlights are always the fun part. I lock the line art layer in order to color it as I want with the brush. It's the tiny symbol of a canvas with a lock. For skin shading, I love mixing up hard shadows with soft parts. Why do I add purple touches? Because some of the artists that inspire me do so, and it looks good. Here I used the selection tool of CSP. You can set the line art layer or folder as reference. Inverted selection with one of the icons on the top. Selections aren't always perfect, so an overall check and cleaning is necessary. Actually, since the line art is so detailed, the shading can be simple. I love doing the bangs part with a bit of skin color. I really didn't want to make it complicated on shading. But I decided it needed some darker shadows. They help to add depth. Was feeling like it needed a bit of green. It is right hair, so you can go crazy with colors. Some colors are subtle, but that's what makes it nice. I spent some time testing the layer blend modes. On the end, none of them was what I wanted. I actually prefer to not use the effects if I can. I will keep the back part of the hair simple. As well the flowing strings. I like how it draws the focus to her face. It's so fun to add the white highlights, they create a good contrast. I actually don't put too much thought on why I do things. I go with the flow. He, I guess you can say I am an intuitive artist. Even so, I still follow basic guidelines. reference the flowers are more saturated, but they are mine now, and here they are soft. And keeping 
the shading simple because I've put a lot of work on the lines. feel nicer when the lines are colored. Softening her blushing also made it all more delicate. It's common for me to retouch the skin after shading the hair. I guess it's because I get a better view of the colors. The back flowers are white, use it some yellow though, to look different from the hair. Have you noticed I always use some kind of yellow as base to white? It's because it feels warm and contrasts nice with blue and purple shadows. A good approach is to add the overall shadows and then after that add the details. flowers under her clothes are more saturated because they are in the shadows. Just kidding, it's because I like that pink. <laughs> I tried adding shadow with brush set as multiply, but I didn't like it very much. bouncing light. Since her blouse is white, light bounces and makes the flowers light even if under it. But not really white light, I like to use purple to give the feeling I imagine. Ah, uh, we are getting close to the end. I want to say I'm still amazed by how much my channel has grown. And I am really thankful for all you guys' support. I try to read all the comments. So, thank you very much for every one of you that supports my art. Ah, I almost forgot to shade the feathers. <laughs> Imagine a bird with teal colors. I love the teal color, makes me feel calm. There I add a bit of pink from the flowers. Kept the background simple since she is the focus of the drawing. touches are always exciting, they make me feel I completed my goal, as I hope to complete more goals with you guys together. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day, take care of yourself. See you! Uh -huh.